Hey guys, I'm going to show you some calf kick defense. I was like kind of the godfather of calf kicks and counters. I was putting out videos in 2012, how to do it, three ways of countering it. I did an article online and everyone ignored it until like literally middle of 2017. And no, it wasn't Benson Henderson first, so I made a big thing on the underground forum and I sent some videos to, to Nate Diaz how to try and defend it. He actually did in the beginning, but he got the angle wrong and got swept down in the beginning of that fight. Um, but it goes way back, and it's amazing that people still don't know how to fucking check a calf kick in MMA, and even kickboxing, Mel Pitts used it before, um, etc. So, basic calf kick is just, everyone's just kicking. Really, you should be up jabbing first on most of your setups. I have different combos with the calf kick, but I shouldn't just be doing line, especially because people tend to not turn as much as they do on a regular low kick, which means I'm open over long guys, especially right cross, boom, down the pipe. So they're not really turning enough in the beginning. They're feeling things out. So you should throw hands first. You shouldn't throw naked kicks, right? So jab, but even better, is kind of an up jab. So you could have your hand down a little bit and up jab the guy. And usually that gets his weight going a little bit back and blinds him to the calf kick. So the best kind of way, just basic calf kick, is going to be up jab, calf kick. So give it to me. Boom. Here, here. Boom. So a few calf kicks. Wreck your day, change the outcomes of many, many fights. I commentated about it in 2015, Pancreas on the UFC Fight Pass, but uh, Rogan and the guys, no one said it to like mid or late 2017. It's the first time I remember ever hearing them make a deal out of a cat Okay, so, uh, hopefully you guys, I know it's far away, but you're going to need to be able to see my light. Okay, so, go give me the kick. So there's the kick. Go. The best counter is going up on your heel here. So you're gonna lift 45 degrees on the outside just like I would, would a regular check and I'm here. Just like I would on a new construction too, like this. So, give me the kick. Yeah, either way, either way. Okay, so jab, low kick. Boom, boom. So you turn it out, guys. So hopefully you can see what's going on with my leg. I, I'm pointing, right now the toes are pointing at them, I turn it out. The ball is inside calf kick, which is here. And, boom. and then I just turn it inside 45. It's almost, oh my god, like the same as a regular check. Except you're grounding it with my body weight so it's one frame and will hurt him more than it hurts me because it's not two legs free in space. This is my leg with weight planted on it if you do it the right way. Okay, so do it again. Boom, boom. Then inside would be a jab shuffle. And the inside kick there, boom, boom. So I point it inside. That is the best proper way to check a calf kick. It's not the only defense you could do, however. So next in line, it would be just doing a check. So if a guy's beating the shit out of you with calf kicks, you need a bunch of rope. Bang, bang, bang. I'm just gonna lift over it if I can. Hopefully if he's really going, most guys are throwing it naked and they're going all the way through and they're really trying to power through it. I'm just going to lift over it. So if he gives me the calf kick, I'm just going to go and let it sail underneath. Boom, that's it. I'm just going to let it sail. You try to cut it. <laughs> so if you were here, kick, and go through. Yeah. And go through. Whoa, there we go. So let's do that again. Go through like you're really trying to hit it. Boom, and then I'm bam, two, three, two on the guy. I like to, every all my checks, kicks, knee destructions, um, I like to fall because my weight, if I'm lifting up, that means my weight is on the rear if I'm doing a check. That means I'm ready to fall in this 2-3-2. Two, two. Or his back, back is exposed. If I'm Mr. Like, better jiu-jitsu guy than striking guy, I'd go through all the way again. Bam, I can come in on this clinch and come in on his back, right? So that's available. Besides that, another thing I can do, if you can't remember anything else, if you got some of these dumb students that can learn anything, instead of him just taking it over and over again, if he knows how to have a good kind of forward strong base, Chuck Liddell, Boss Rudin style, Dutch kickboxing style. If at the very least I lift my leg, boom, and I ride it out. I can't do that if I have a closed stance my legs too far together because he'll spin me and get my back or it sweeps me. We've seen that many, many times and eventually ends up sweeping the guy. So you can't do that, but if I have a good base, if the only thing I can fucking do, I'm beat up and I can barely stand whatever, is just lift, just lift like a check, but let it loose like me. So here, and I'm still in a stance to fall on this cross. 
So this is actually like a Shotokan thing, actually, like whoosh, whoosh. So I'm hacky sacking it. Let him hit it through. Let your knee joint articulate like a pendulum and keep your base open as opposed to, uh, and now I'm all jacked up and letting it spin. So I'll show you what everyone does. You know, oh, he's beating on my calf, he's beating on my calf. No, oh, you sweat down. Versus, while shit is beating on my calf, beating on my calf. Oh, damn it, I'm, still, I'm ready to fight you, okay? Is <laughs> that a good hit? Yes. Oh, no, just. Uh, uh, so you fall into it. So the difference is, guys, if you're getting beat up, stop bleeding and giving your back even more. You see guys do that because they don't know what to do and they don't know how to switch fight. They switch and then they go back and then they're blasted again and they get swept down on the ground. If I have a good base, it should be check to the outside, check to the outside, check, and any time I check, it's two, three, two, or any time I check to the inside, it's two, three, two, or it's long hook, long hook, long hook, long hook. If you can't do that, well, lift over it, lift over it, let it go under. Fall into the two, three, two, or take his back. You know, go into the back punch. Or at least, guys, loose it, but don't loose it or take it from a closed stance. You should be open and always have space, base anywhere. You have no power because you have no base. So you can just loosey leg it, loosey leg it, two, three, two. So let me show the three one more time. I'll wrap it up. Uh, so give me some a jab, up jab, heck it. Boom, boom, oh shit, he got me. Again. Boom, boom, oh shit, he got me. Again. Boom, I checked it, two, three, two. You don't like that. That's the best one. Okay. Let's go through like a series again. Go. Oh, fuck, I missed that. My timing was bad. My weight was too far back. Whoa, I went over it. I didn't get hurt. Just kind of barely touched the bottom of my foot. Go through like you're really trying to blast it now. Boom. Okay. Or at least at the very least, don't do this bladed, exposing my back and just taking it, taking it, taking it. And so it gets beat. Don't show it. Just lift. Good. Boy. Kick hard. Boy. Kick hard. Boy. Just loosen it. I just let it pendulum up. Really trying to damage my leg. Like all I gotta do is have a base. I just can't be here. Because that's how I guys are getting swept out. So I can just loose it. Go again one more time. <laughs> Whoa! I'm in out here. You guys see that? So those are the three ways of defending uh, the calf kick. Let me show you the inside really fast as well. It all applies to the inside. So up jab inside kick. Yeah, you guys should try to run calf kick. Yeah, see, the best way is just kind of slide. Bam, and he opens up my base, which means he can go to that two, three, two. Great combination there, right? Um, so the best check again is to the inside. I point it in and I go into my hips. Or I can like lift up, right? He's beating up so bad. I just lift up. And oh my God, he turned into a regular low kick. Well, then I'm basically in a check. So I'm in a check, okay? Maybe he's starting to mix it up really good, like you should be. Okay, I'm fine. I got my base. I'm still like okay in a structure. Um, and I can even kind of open up and know it's going to sweep me out. Boom, and I fall right into it. But I should be here or I should be here. So if you're towed into my opponent on this line here, it's out or it's in. Just like it's here or it's here. It's the same friggin' thing. If you're my opponent, Right now, my front toes are pointed at you. My back shouldn't be more than 45 in my opinion, but anyway, inside here, there's inside, there's outside. There's outside, there's inside. It's all the same thing, guys. Learn how to counter. The calf kicks is 2024. I've been teaching it since 2012. Thank you. Let me know what you guys think below.